Okay, so you've got the victory and success card over here. So whatever you've been doing, whatever projects you're working with, uh, are going to be successful. Uh, it looks like you are, um, you know, getting a lot of recognition uh, for whatever you're doing. Uh, so people taking note and saying, you know, you're pretty good at what you're doing. And there's a lot of uh, success coming in with that with you. There seems to be some partnerships coming in, alliances, and this is on the work front here. Uh, you've got the three of rods here, so, you know, working with a group of people um, and, uh, you know, exchanging a lot of ideas. There might also be a lot of travel, a lot of communication as well with this card. There could also well be a uh, new relationship coming in, and this could be in the form of a business relationship, considering that the first two cards there are the rods cards. So this could be a new uh, um, business relationship that comes in for you and a pretty good one at that uh, so in the past you've got the intuition card so you know you've been using a lot of your this is the high priestess card things not being be revealed things haven't come to light yet you have uh, you know doors have not they're about to open here. They haven't quite opened here for you. So you're waiting for an opportunity to come in over there. Uh, you've got the shadow card over here. So this is the moon card, you know, being in two minds about doing things, being a bit confused as well uh, about things, you know, being in a little bit in the dark. Uh, so you're moving out from the dark and into the light. So, uh, you know, information is going to be coming in for you or has been coming in for you in order for you to make decisions. Uh, so, you know, things are, uh, you know, it's about to shift over here from uh, not being able to see things clearly to complete clarity coming in over there with that shadow card. And this is a, the thing that brings in that victory and success for you. Now, going into the future, you've got the moving on card over here. So, whatever problems you've been dealing with, whatever issues you went through, whatever conflicts, it's now time that you will move away. It seems like this new relationship that comes in for you or this new partnership that comes in is going to be very instrumental in opening doors for you there. And going, uh, you know, the final card is the rest and rejuvenation. You do need to take some uh, time out. You have been rather stressed out. And you need to come up with a new plan, a new strategy on how to handle things as well. So that's being very, very important. Uh, you know, take a step down from uh, whatever's been going on. Uh, take some downtime and, uh, you know, get a new idea, get a new plan, a new um, idea about what you want to do for the future. So uh, those are the energies for that, that week. Now I'm going to draw some cards from the uh, Kingdom Within Tarot for the main read. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Six of Swords here again. This is talking about you moving away from any difficulties, any problems, being more knowledgeable now because you've got this big owl over here. Um, and, you know, you've been through a lot of battles. You've got a lot of battle scars there, a lot of swords that you're taking with you. So these are lessons that you've learned, tower moments that you've gone through, but you are now moving away from whatever has been going on. And there's fresh horizons uh, for you over there. So changing your ideas because you've got Mercury sitting in Aquarius over here. So brand new ideas. Uh, and, you know, you've got some really good ideas which you are taking with you uh, and moving on to better uh, shores, really, uh, going to start off something better somewhere else. So uh, what's going on with you? You've got the Four of Swords, and yet again, you do need to take some kind of rest. There is a partnership coming in over here. You've got Jupiter there in, uh, li uh, in Libra. So there is a need for you to have a bit of diplomacy when you're dealing with situations. But it looks like it's a very nice partnership that comes in over here, quite a balanced relationship that happens, a very, very give and take uh, relationship going on so this could be on the you know on the work front over here you are dealing with legal situations as well so maybe whoever this person is is going to come and help you through your legal problems that you might be facing at this uh, particular moment you've got the justice card over there so it seems like you are dealing with some kind of legal problems or legal battles and even with that six of swords it's moving away from any legal problems because it's a swords card uh, making you know a, a fresh start but having gone through a lot of uh, 
difficulties and it could possibly be uh, with legal issues, dealing with legal issues. So you've got the kingdom within all uh, as your past. So things have been happen happening, uh, you know, unexpectedly for you, uh, things that were not foreseen. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's been it seems like the universe is trying to bring in balance for you and you know events that you had not anticipated have been happening with you you've got the sun card over there so this is about victory leaving behind the old dark uh, you know the darkness behind and moving into the light really and uh, being very successful at what you do so whatever the hard work and effort you've been putting into your job has been paying off and there's also a lot of clarity that has been coming to you there now you've got the moon card over there and this is you're still feeling as though you're going around and around in circles. Maybe some, you know, all these problems are still going on in your mind and it is causing a little bit of depression, a little bit of confusion over there. You're still feeling a bit stuck in that situation and you're still going, all, uh, going over all the drama that you've been in, uh, going through as well. So, uh, you know, maybe you're too much in your head there and you need to actually uh, let go of that de-stress uh, and, um, you know, come up with something new. Uh, see the situation from a different perspective there. You've got the Wheel of Fortune coming in for you, so big changes are about to happen for you. It's ruled by Jupiter, so expansion happening over there, and you know these are usually positive changes that come in. Uh, Jupiter is that greater benefic planet, so it brings in really good changes, uh, you know, abundance usually coming in with that Wheel of Fortune. Now, the Page of uh, Wands, they are, uh, there might be an offer that's going to be made to you, a new project that you might start, but this is also about a lot of communication, uh, networking a lot with people as well. So that's where you are at the moment. You are trying to get your message across there. And lots of money will be coming in. You can see acquisition, money falling in from the sky, and the sun's in um, um, Capricorn over there. That means that, uh, you know, if you're going for a uh, promotion, uh, it looks like that's going to be falling into your lap over there. And it's going to bring in a lot of money with it as well. So that Wheel of Fortune is definitely going to be a very, very positive wheel that comes in and brings in some positive change and changes your financial situation as well. You've got the Five of Wands over here, so this is your hopes and fears. So you are still dealing with a lot of conflict with the people around you, and you are trying to make, you know, build bridges, make amends over there, uh, you know, and it seems like whoever is it is that you're dealing with is very much, it's a very difficult person and you are having a, a, a battle in trying to sort them out over there. They have made me very, very restrictive and they might be somebody that has attacked your self-confidence. So you are trying to deal with this particular person or that particular situation. You're feeling a little disempowered there. So going to the future and the final outcome, you've got the Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and the King of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles, talking about brand new beginnings, more solid foundations, and plenty of money coming in with whatever you're going to be doing. There might also be some travel that's involved over here. You can see the world, the earth in the background over there. That's definitely starting something brand new. Maybe you're starting a brand new job. You've got the Seven of Swords over here. So, um, you know, just be careful of people uh, that you're dealing with might be backstabbers. You can see this woman's got a lot of swords sitting behind her there. So they could be very deceptive, might be making promises to, to you, um, you know, that they can't keep. So if you're starting a brand new job, make sure you you are reviewing all the, um, you know, monies to do with uh, issue, sal uh, salary issues or, um, you know, whatever the perks of that particular job is. Make sure you, you are well aware of everything that is going on. Do your research very carefully before uh, accepting any kind of offer, any, signing any new contracts. There could be a bit of deception going on up there. Something's not quite right there, so you need to uh, investigate carefully and thoroughly. This new job that you're getting into, uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of deadlines. You're going to be in a position of authority. Uh, you know, it's a slow-moving job. He's sitting on the tortoise after all, uh, but money will come in. You can see money coming in over here, but you're going to have to work pretty hard uh, at it. Um, and, um, you know, you're going to have to uh, put, give it your all. Uh, you know, um, you are very ambitious, and um, it looks like if you uh, keep going with it, even though it's slowly, uh, it will pay off in the end. And, you know, cut out things that are not serving you, any kind of negativity, any kind of person that is being uh, a bit of a bully, you cut them out of your life uh, with that side card over there. Uh, and, um, you know, you need to uh, act with authority as well with this King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is the money card, so it will definitely bring in a lot of money, this particular job. And you can see money falling in out from the sky there with that Four of Pentacles. So you're going to acquire, you know, uh, a lot of wealth 
and it's going to allow you to set down strong foundations as well. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, Angel Tarot. So you have got the Magician card over here. So you could be dealing with somebody who is a bit deceptive, a bit of a liar, but you could also, you know, be in a situation where you are now starting to manifest. So be very positive when you're manifesting and things, are, you know, you're going to be pretty busy soon, uh, networking, uh, traveling, a lot of deadlines to meet as well with that magician card. You've got the Queen of Fire over here, which says stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself and assert your independence and creativity. So you do need to act with confidence and you have to act uh, with authority as well in this particular uh, job that you're doing and it's also going to involve a lot more travel for you there's the renewal card over here so uh, starting something brand new maybe changing directions as well and review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts time to move in a new direction so it looks like you might be changing uh, you know the way you are working or whatever you're doing changing your direction in life and that wheel of fortune is also bringing in about that change um, but it's going to be a positive change and the outcome is going to be quite successful as well with that renewal card you're going to be using all the skills that you've learned in the past and applying them to make this fre a fresh start or change this direction in which you've been going so i hope this reading has resonated with you.